Hi, my name's Stuart, and this is a video of the hose. Um, well, I think a lot of them, um, it's kind of, it's a basic video about um, stuff that I, you know, I, ha I dealt with in my past uh, a long time ago. And um, I think that it's kind of an attempt to kind of go back to that and remember that, because I think that a lot of um, kind of success and personal development speakers, they, um, you know, it's interesting to talk about insights that they're having right now. And that old stuff, you know, they just they just take for granted that everybody must know it. And um, so this is kind of a talk just about kind of keeping just kind of a basic kind of emotional stability of just kind of feeling, you know, pretty good all the time. Um, because, you know, my... Uh, I used to kind of have, you know, the kind of up and ups and downs. Um, and I'm not talking about being exposed to like any like great stress or like horrible incident. I, I don't know how to handle that stuff, but just kind of the basic kind of stuff that, you know, just affects people in everyday life. Um, and I noticed that uh, for me, kind of those downswings tended to be associated with um, social rejection or um, focusing on the prospect of social rejection. Uh, or also of negative self-judgment or being judged by others, which is really a form of um, of um, social rejection. Um, being like kind of separated from the group, the group being you know a group of people that I interact with, or um, in a chat room, or um, or reading books about, this is where just the, the, the focusing on the prospect of it comes into play. I would read books about um, setting up, you know, like an escape plan for like, you know, um, running off to some other tax haven country if, you know, something goes wrong here for whatever reason. And that, that, and that after like reading like half of a book about that kind of stuff, I would start feeling like, like really, ugh, it's not good, you know. Uh, negative self-judgments, uh, feeling bad about yourself for something, um, really anything. Um, and so really, um, oh, so the re so I mean, for as far as the negatives, the, the being rejected, rejected socially, um, that's pretty easy to fix if you can control your social group, um, which if you're an adult, you can, you can quit your job, you can just not hang out with certain people. Just don't expose yourself to a situation where that can happen um, or where it's likely to happen um, the, yeah so the negative self-judgment just for me um, eventually I just got sick of feeling like crap and I would self-observation here is important um, watching your own thoughts like practicing kind of meditation and kind of you know watching the watcher you know that sort of thing where you just kind of observe your own thoughts in a detached way uh, that's a very useful skill for this because that way, if you start feeling bad, you, you'll, you'll, you know, you, you have kind of a, you kind of remember like what you were thinking. And, and when you feel bad, you can think, you, you, you notice that you feel bad. You observe yourself that you feel bad. And then you think, okay, what did I think that made me feel this bad? You know, what, um, what just happened? What was I doing? Uh, and then you stop doing those things. So, um, I mean, you know, negative emotions, they come from either, you know, our thoughts or from something we see. And if we see it, we interpret it and think about it, uh, or hear, you know, it's, it comes from our senses or from our own thoughts, you know? So just observing what we sense and what we think when we feel bad and then adjusting what we think essentially and what we say to, to an extent as well. Because the things that we say, they kind of loop back into our senses and then we think about them again. So, um, so here's kind of the thing with negative self-judgments is that eventually I just decided, you know, it is what it is and I accept it. And I'm not going to keep beating myself up over it because that's just not, that doesn't help. Um,
it seems to me that if there's something about ourselves that we don't like, that we judge ourselves negatively for, um, it's it is a form of social re of social rejection where we are rejecting ourselves like preempt like preemptively from the group, which is bad. Um, but the problem with it is that if we are judging ourselves negatively for something but yet we're not changing our behavior and it's this recurring thing that keeps happening over and over again. Um, doesn't that say that that judgment is in conflict with our own value system? Because if it was really important for us to change it, wouldn't we have changed it? And if it's, if it's not in alignment with our value system, then it's in alignment with somebody else's value system and they just told it to us and we just accepted it. So it really comes down to self-respect. If I'm judging myself about something that I'm not changing and I'm feeling bad about it, but I'm not changing it, it means I just bought into someone else's story who wanted to control me. So I don't really, I, you know, I don't see that living in denial of our own nature and, um, and fighting ourselves is the way forward. Uh, you know, if, if certain things are not ideal, you know, certain things in our life are not ideal. And while we would say, you know, it's not, I don't like this situation really. Uh, I wish it were different and better, but at the same time, I'm not changing it. Maybe it is somewhat of a, maybe there, it, 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 it is a value to me. Maybe it is, but it's not as important as something else that is obviously in conflict with it, that's stopping me from, from, from doing anything about it. And I think that is something that we need to accept about ourselves. Because if we don't accept that, then we are mischaracterizing ourselves. We are lying, we are in denial about ourselves. We are refusing to understand ourselves if we're just beating ourselves up over it. It doesn't make us feel good, so we want to push it away and not think about it. We don't, we refuse to understand it and to, to accept it and to understand it because it feels so bad. So I think only by accepting it can we really understand it. And when we understand it, then we can improve it. Um, you know, if we're trying to fix something, doesn't it make sense that we should, we should understand how it works, why it works the way that it does, and not feel like emotional repulsion from it. We should just let it be the way it is and look at it and understand it. Because as long as we're pushing it away, we're, lying, we're deluding ourselves about the nature of it, about ourselves. We're pushing ourselves away and deluding ourselves about the nature of ourselves. Then we're really not in a position to improve. So I think that really is in a way a kind of the basis of you know a lot of self improvement you know and becoming the people that the kind of people that we want to be you know and I've noticed in my life that there are certain things that if I just stop beating myself myself up over it so much and I focus on improving in other areas of my life that those areas tend to improve all by themselves I sort of a a rising tide lifts all boats kind of effect. So anyway, that's what I got for uh, for this video. So I hope that helped you. If it did, hey, check out my other videos. I got a lot of really cool kind of practical stuff.